I said the same thing. <laughs> so for me, intuition is part of natural thinking. It's no better, no worse than other thinking. You just, you just have to say, if I have a hunch, I divide it into two categories. Ideas that I can prove in a scientific method, and ideas that I feel to be so as a personal vision. For example, if I read Dostoevsky, I can't prove that Dostoevsky is right. I just accept it as my view of Dostoevsky and move on. But it's equally valid way of knowing. It's just not scientific. And therefore, if one says intuition is right or wrong, they're really merging two ways of knowing, which is the scientific and the experiential. But are all my is all my rationality rationalizing my gut instincts? A good deal of it. Is there any of it that I'm not? Is there any part of my brain that's well, the way that you develop thought in the first place is dependent upon learning from the very onset of how your mom teaches you language or whatever, and all of that's built with internal biases. To say there's such a thing as rationality is to misdirect the whole notion of how we learn to think in the first place. Mm -hmm. um, doc, Dr. Ekman, much of your work uh, involves us becoming more conscious of our unconscious emotions. Uh, if we evolved optimally to keep uh, much of our brain activity a secret to ourselves, shouldn't we leave it that way? Like by making me more uh, conscious of my unconscious, aren't you sabotaging the system? Well, actually, I've recently been thinking about the following possible problem. Uh, some of the Buddhist monks I know, and I, including the Dalai Lama, I seem to have this enormous gap between impulse and action. They are really, and we've done some research and some of others in laboratory settings that pretty well documents that they have achieved through decades of meditative practice, awareness of the impulse on a conscious level. Would it be dangerous? None of them drive. <laughs> Should we not give such people driving licenses? with this very virtue they've developed to not respond automatically without thought to threatening situations. They don't. That's well documented. Can they turn that on and off? I don't know the answer to this question, but I do think it's a worthwhile question. Um, most people who seek psychotherapy, in my belief, now this is total speculation, I don't have any data on this other than what I hear from friends and from therapists. They want to either change what turns the triggers for their emotion. They don't want to become emotional about the things they become emotional. They want to erase a trigger. Why does that get me so upset? Why am I so afraid in that situation? Now, they want to become emotional about things that they aren't emotional. Lots of luck, but I mean, it's not an easy thing to achieve. Um, I wanted to say something about the private and public. When we see someone else's expression, uh, I mean, not all emotions have a signal. Only seven of them, as best I can establish, have a snapshot signal that in an instant you know how someone feels. And many of us, not all, when we see that feeling, we have a resonant feeling. And our research has shown that if you measure what's going on physiologically in most viewers of emotion, it's the same thing that's going on physiologically in the person who's displaying the emotion. So in a sense, it's perfectly natural for us to get inside each other's skin in that way. And resonance is what we all want from friends and lovers and spouses people who respond to our feeling by sharing. So the expression, the surface, sets that off involuntarily in most people, um, particularly when you see people in anguish or suffering. It's very hard for that not to start to generate that within, within you. Um, intuition. I spend a lot of time trying to teach policemen not to make their judgment about who's innocent and guilty on the basis of intuition because it's a refuge for stereotypes. The more they can be aware of why I think that person 
isn't telling the truth, the more likely it won't be based on stereotype or on something for which there's some evidential basis. So not in joking, I, when I teach cops, I say, I'm the enemy of intuition. I don't want you to do it on hunch. I want you to be able to be explicit and know why it is you don't trust that person. You think they're misleading. 